is your brain. We have a receiver built in and it is our mind. We have a receiver to receive what it is we are wanting to manifest. We have a receiver just like your radio station. Your radio is the receiver. The station is the broadcaster. So when you have your thoughts going out there and they're going all willy-nilly and all over the place, you don't have a focused broadcast, right? So you're knowing that your brain, your brain here, is the receiver. And this is how you receive what it is you are wanting. It all starts with thoughts, emotions, and it's all part of who we are inside, not just on the outside. You could be one person on the outside and a whole different person on the inside, which is true for a lot of people. Because the brain, the mind, is the receiver tool that we have built into us and everyone has it. No one out there does not have a receiver. Even a handicapped person that's mentally ill has a receiving brain. So when you know for a fact that your brain is the receiver and you know how to use that receiver, hold on. Okay, when you know that, it doesn't matter what affirmations you say or what mantras you repeat. If you do not have emotions attached to those that you're sending out, you're going to be on a frequency that's maybe not in tune to what it is you're wanting to bring back to you. Like attracts like, that's a given. Emotions are glue. Emotions are like glue. They're like super glue, gorilla glue. Your emotions that you have attached to what it is you're wanting, those emotions are like a doorway. Just imagine you have this great, wonderful feeling and you're just, you're projecting it out there and you're like so happy that your life is exactly how you want it. Everything is flowing to you. You're so in tune with that. Feel that. Focus on that and see it out there. Those emotions are a door. When you feel that good about something, what's happening is you're opening up that door. And when you're opening up that door, exactly, your subconscious mind will receive that. And your subconscious mind will go, oh, that's what she wants. I'll give her more of that. Yeah, that's a happy feeling. I like that. I'll give her more of that. That's how it works. And that's just in layman's terms. That's just no big words, no drawn out description. Emotions are the glue that holds together what you're desiring. Your subconscious mind is the receiver. When you're in tune with what you want and everything is on the same playing field, the same playing field, you're going to see Things will come easier to you. Not just that you're happy and you're in tune, but you're one with yourself. Like I said, it doesn't matter who you are on the outside or who you are on the inside. It's a matter if you can get the two together. Be that happy person. Be that carefree person inside and out. I mean outside, I'm not saying how you look per se. But definitely, if you want to have wealth, you want to study wealth. How do the wealthy dress? Wear the best clothes you can afford, right? Live in the best home you can afford. Drive the best car you can afford. Don't go in debt. No, don't go in debt to get rich. Don't do that. There's always an investment to be made when we want to gain wealth and prosperity in our lives. There's always an investment. That investment is a lot in ourselves so knowing that you have the emotion part down now right we've been talking about this and we've been talking emotions like attracts like and how everything out there is a feeling a thought and how the emotions are glue they're like super glue they just right there and they attract and they bond together those thoughts those feelings that you have those are emotions. 
when you have strong emotions of something that you really want, whether it be something you don't want, it works the same way. So be careful. If you're out there and you're thinking, okay, I really don't want this to come to me. I don't want to be sick anymore. I don't want to feel this way. I don't want to be poor. I don't want to be in debt. You're going to get more of that because that's where your focus is. So change the emotions to, I love my life. And what I like to do is I have different mantras that I use for different things. And I'm going to give you another clue on one today. I give you one every now and then. I give you one last week too. It was a goodie. I hope you're using it. This one is happy, grateful energy. Happy, grateful. Just letting it come forth and flow through you. You are so powerful. It's just amazing how powerful you are. You always take advantage of the opportunities and the systems and strategies when I put them out there. You take advantage of them and you're succeeding. And I see you out there growing and I see you taking advantage of these. So here's another mantra and I want you to fill in the last half of this with what you want with what you're working on. The first half you're going to see is, is a staple. It's a staple. But the rest, the second half is I mix it up all the time. Here's some examples of what I do. And I always use a happy feeling. I use a lot of emotion when I say this mantra. And I like to say it in like a little tune or a hum or something like that as I'm reciting it to myself throughout my day. Isn't it wonderful? I have an abundant lifestyle. Isn't it wonderful? I have an abundant lifestyle. Isn't it wonderful? I have an abundant lifestyle. Isn't it wonderful? I have a happy family. Isn't it wonderful? I have a happy family. Isn't it wonderful? I have a happy family. See, the first part is, isn't it wonderful? I have. And then fill in the back half. Those are just two examples there. I got a couple more I'm going to give you here. But change the back half to whatever you're working on. Whatever you're working on in your life. Change the back half of that. And, okay, here, I'm going to give you two more. Isn't it wonderful I have a prosperous business? Isn't it wonderful I have a prosperous business? Isn't it wonderful I have a prosperous business? One more. Isn't it wonderful I have a beautiful home? Isn't it wonderful I have a beautiful home? Isn't it wonderful I have beautiful homes? More than one, more than two. Isn't it wonderful? So you see, that's the key right there, is emotion, <coughs> excuse me, full of just, you can't let it just bubble through. You gotta just let it overflow through you. When you get that excited about something, when you have that much emotion coming from you, and when you're doing that and you're saying, isn't it wonderful? That triggers nothing in you. That doesn't trigger your subconscious to say, oh, that's wrong. Oh, nope. That is a affirmation. That is a mantra that goes right to the subconscious freely and easily because there's no, there's no barrier. There's no, nothing to stop it. There's nothing to say no. So the more you do these, the more your subconscious is in tune to what that feels like for you as you're saying this. If you're building your business, I am wonderful. Isn't it wonderful? I have a million dollar business. Isn't it wonderful? I have a hundred thousand dollar business. And as you're going along, isn't it wonderful? I have a hundred million dollar business. Put emotion, thought, and feeling into this. No matter what it is, change it up. Make them your own words. Change it up. Create your own mantra. Create your own. Because you know now, if you don't already, the brain is the receiver. So as you get more of this vibration back to you, your brain will receive it. And your subconscious won't block it because you've opened that door with your emotions, which are the glue that's going to hold it together. So it's up to you to be 
in line with what it is you want to open the door to have and to be be to have so it's up to you to open that door and to let it flow through easily I mean easy there's no reason to make it hard why would you want to make it hard when you don't have to that's just a question I have for you there because it is so in tune with everything everybody's doing out there thinking they have to suffer thinking they have to suffer to get success they have to suffer to get anywhere you don't have to suffer you have to work hard I'm not going to tell you you don't have to work hard we have to work hard we have to work long hours sometimes we have to work the system we have to work the strategies we have to work on ourselves we have to keep learning every day there's hard work involved if you want to have success but knowing that your brain is the receiver your thoughts and emotions are the glue mainly your emotions are they're, they're just like super glue grill glue they're just glue and they hold together those thoughts and emotions they hold together and they put it out there to the universe like I am so happy I have this and isn't it wonderful isn't it wonderful I love those words because like I said they don't attach to anything they're free-flowing and they bring you back so much because they don't hold anything against anything else and they go right to the subconscious change it up isn't it wonderful I have fill in the rest fill in the blanks make it as long or as short as you want I like to do it to a little bit of a system and I'll do a little bit of a tune I will do 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 and make it come forth for you it is that simple to get it going but you have to take the action steps when they come if you're doing this and you're given an opportunity you're given a strategy you're given an option to do something and you tend to ignore that the universe will see that also as a sign of doesn't want that no don't give that anymore don't give that anymore so you're gonna find that what you really wanted that was starting to come to you but you ignored it or you said oh I, I can't afford that I can't afford that as soon as you say that you've put up a wall that wall stops you no matter where you're at that wall stops you so think about it are you stopping yourself with a wall that you are creating or are you letting that energy you have those emotions that are glow flow to you and through you and all around you ask yourself do I take advantage of the systems, the strategies, the operations, the opportunities that come my way? Am I learning how to do daily methods of operation? Am I learning how to do this? Do I know how to do this? If I don't, where can I get it? Ask the universe. You'd be surprised what's in people's headers, what's in the descriptions of videos, of posts. Always look and see and always get in there and take advantage of the stuff we're doing. It's there for you. Not everyone will get to see this. Not everyone will be in tune to see this video. Some of you will, some of you won't. It's designed for anyone out there who is ready to take their life to the next step. Isn't it wonderful I have? 